Hi everyone, I'm Michelle, welcome to my channel. Today I have decided to do this makeup look for you. I hope you like it. I'm starting with the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer on the sides of my face and my chin where I get a bit dry. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever uh, Mattifying Primer around my nose. Uh, next for foundation, I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. Um, I preferred the Makeup Forever HD foundation um, before they discontinued it. Um, this one I find is a little bit less coverage and doesn't quite work as well for oily skin. So I'm mixing it with the new Total Cover Infallible Foundation from L'Oreal. I'm blending this in with my Beauty Blender, um, which I love as a foundation sponge. I do use brushes as well, but I find for the most full coverage and flawless coverage, a sponge far outweighs a brush. get to do down my neck. So now we're going to cover the eye bag area and I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape which has caused mass outcry I think on the internet but it is lovely, absolutely lovely as a concealer for underneath the eyes and it doesn't budge either so that's um, excellent. Uh, for my blemishes I'm using the Clarins Instant Concealer. Um, this one I adore to set underneath the eye. I am using the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This powder I've never, I don't think I've ever used something that's so finely milled. Um, and it just sets without uh, looking cakey and horrible underneath your eye. I did try the baking trend once but I think my skin and wrinkles didn't really appreciate it so uh, I gave it to me. To set the rest of my face I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Powder. So now I've done foundation I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. Makeup Forever Aqua Brow in shade 10. Um, it's a waterproof brow gel. Um, it's very similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, but just a little bit um, thinner in consistency. Um, next, I like to set them with Brow Now by Estee Lauder. Uh, as I said, the uh, aqua brow is actually uh, waterproof and does set, but I like having uh, a little bit of a different colour through them. So this is uh, in 01 Blonde. Unfortunately, my eyebrows need a lot of help as I was around in the 90s and over plucked them. So let's move on to the eyeshadow. I think I'm going to do a smoky eye. I know a lot of people have done them on YouTube, um, but hopefully this one is a little bit different. A bit of glitter and a bit of colour as well. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids. This is uh, MAC Painterly. Ever since I got a trial at MAC, uh, and the lady put this on my eye. I have been in love with this as an eye base. I tried everything else, the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer, uh, the Too Faced um, Shadow Insurance, uh, even using concealer as well. I, I don't find anything as good as this. And moving on to eyeshadows. Most of the eyeshadows I'm going to use are from Makeup Geek, uh, which I love and I'm very grateful that they're now readily available in the UK. Now I'm going to start with a Zoeva 227 Lux Definer Brush, Barcelona Beach. I'm going to run that all the way through my crease. And I want this quite a blown out smoky eye so I'm going to bring it quite close to the brow. Take an eyeshadow brush without any eyeshadow on it and just blend out the edges. For the highlight, I'm going to use uh, MAC White. Just tighten up the line a little bit. Next, to darken up the crease, I'm going to move on to Latte from Makeup Geek, taking the same Zoeva brush 
I'm just going to concentrate this more in the crease. Now the thing about smoky eyes um, is they can look good with one colour, but they look great if you layer. The more colours you layer on top of each other, you get real depth. Next one I'm going to take is Mocha. I'm just placing this in the corner down to my lashes and halfway along my lash line and then into the crease as well. Okay, now for some sparkle I'm going to use the new uh, Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. These are stunning. I had to stop myself from buying the whole collection. And they set on the eyelids and they stay all day. It's just to blend out the edges. Now I'm going to take a MAC 219 pencil brush and go in with Makeup Geek Corrupt. This is their black eyeshadow. So I'm just placing this just in the corner of the eye over the crease of where the glitter meets the eyeshadow as much as possible I like to do eyeshadow with my eye open only because then you get to see what everybody else is going to see mostly your eyes are open okay, so we're just sort of making a C in the corner here and still mixing between the mocha shade and the black. Blend all the way around the edges. I feel I may have lost some of the glitter so I'm going to put another layer of the stealer on the inner third of the eye. So I just take the corrupt and just press it onto the lash line. I'm also going to uh, tight line with Kiko Everlasting Kajal. Um, these are amazing. Um, so for mascara, for my top lashes, I am using the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Mascara. So for lashes, I am using the Velour Lashes. These are cruelty free mink lashes um, and they are very, very pretty. These are already pre cut to my eyes as I use them for a hendo at the weekend. Uh, and I'm using the Duo Glue Adhesive Tweezers and pinch my lashes and have the glue on the back of my hand. Run the lash through the glue. I like to wave it around a little bit, make it tacky. Drop on top and place it in the centre. Leave it for a few seconds to stick and then tuck the corners in. One second. So let's contour. I am using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in Light. I'm just going to put that underneath the cheekbones, just around the temple. move on to bronzer and I have the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer which oh, this is just gonna go over the top on the cheekbones around the forehead a little bit on the nose and the chin where you'd normally catch the sun that's blusher uh, this is another Charlotte Tilbury product this is their cheek to chic sex on fire blusher um, they are beautiful. I swirl around the lighter colour, use the centre colour, give you a more blended out blush look. Next highlight, this is the Sleek Makeup um, Highlighting Palette in Solstice, these two colours together. So we have a Soft Crease 221 brush for this. Cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, basically everywhere. 
Back onto the eyes, we're going to be using the Sephora 12 Hour Wear Waterproof Eye Colour Pencil in Fairy Tale Teal colour shot through with gold glitter. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. For mascara on my bottom lashes, I'm using MAC Extended Play which I've been using for about three years now and cannot use any other mascara on my bottom lashes. It does not budge lip. I'm going to go for Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Bachelorette. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and please leave feedback or comments down below if you liked it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos.